Hi, I'm here to do the um, 20 questions book tag. I was tagged by my gorgeous book babe, um, Iggy. Uh, I'm sure you all watch her. If you're not watching her, what are you doing? So I'll leave her video and her channel um, downstairs. That's what I'm starting to call it, downstairs. Also, we cleaned the floor, so I need to keep the doors open to get some like airflow so that it dries. So I hope that the audio is not too disturbed by busy motorcycles and such. So let me pull up the um, questions and then we can get into it. Okay, so question number one is how many books are too many for a series? I'm not a series reader, um, like I never embarked on a journey of like a book that has, a series that has like, I don't know, eight books or something. To be honest, like a trilogy for me is the maximum. I know that there's the Elena Ferrante like um, quartet of books and also Ali Smith's like uh, seasonal quartet. So maybe, maybe, but I'm, I'm not sure. Question number two, how do you feel about cliffhangers? Yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, I think they work. I would definitely like probably pick up the next book or buy the next book or whatever if there was a cliffhanger. I think I like them. I don't know if I read so many books like with like dramatic cliffhangers. like one of those cars that like cleans the street. Although like, does it really clean the street? I don't really know if it's working. Number three, hardcover or paperback? Paperback for sure. I mean, real in reality, like I'm reading mostly digitally on my Kindle. So I would say like an ebook or like a Kindle. Um, but definitely if I'm holding a book, I much prefer paperback. Like I will break the spine immediately in like multiple places. Like I'm all for um, a book being comfortable to read. Like if it's comfortable to hold, then I wanna read it. And I like a hardcover like coffee table, like an art book or something, or a photography book, but for like a novel or something, um, paperback for sure. Number four, favorite book. This is horrible. Two things come to my mind. One is um, Year of the Monkey by Patti Smith. That's definitely like a number, number, number one book for me. Really any Patti Smith, like also Devotion. Um, yeah, Patti Smith, probably like that, that would be my favorite book, Year of the Monkey. Um, and the other one that comes to my head, which is more like is fiction, would be The Vegetarian by Han Kong. I loved everything about this book, really. Like everything about it, the writing style, the imagery, the way it's told in three parts through three different um, points of view. I, I thought that book was incredible. Least favorite book is the next question. Um, I'm thinking that it's this book I read in high school Stoner by John Edward Williams. I thought this book was so boring. I could not, like my eyes were bleeding. Like I thought that I was, it was horrible. I don't know if it's a, a horrible book. I mean, for sure there's something to get from it if it's in like a curriculum in school, but I, like, my experience of reading this book was terrible. Like, I still remember suffering <laughs> trying to read this. Of recently, I would say I don't have an answer because I, I pretty much tailor my reading to something that I know I will like, um, or, like, I take recommendations from people that I feel I align with, and, like, it's really rare that I end up reading more than 10 pages of something that I think is terrible. Number six, love triangles, yes or no? I guess yes, um, sure. I just really don't have a single book that I've ever read that has a love triangle in it, but I'm open to the idea. Number seven, the most recent book you couldn't finish. Oh, I know exactly what it is. Okay, it's this one, The Discomfort of Evening by uh, Maria Lucas Reineveld. It's um, won the 2020 International Booker Prize, 
I talked about it in a vlog. Yeah, I just, I couldn't, um, there are many things I like about this book, actually, but just, it's, it's dark, it's sad, it's heavy, it's dis it's uncomfortable, <laughs> hence the discomfort of evening. So I had to, like, put it down and not finish it, at least at this particular time. It's, like, not the kind of reading experience I want to have, um, so that would be... Yeah, a book recently I didn't finish. Number eight, a book you're currently reading. Okay, I have two. One is Second Place by Rachel Cusk. Um, yeah, loving it. I'm discussing it in my current vlog that I'm filming this week. Um, so whenever that's up, you'll see. And the other book that I'm kind of dipping in and out of is Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kummerer. Chimera, um, Indigenous Wisdom, Scientific Knowledge, and the Teaching of Plants. So this is a nonfiction. Um, yeah, I had this on my um, like TBR for actually quite a long time. I was seeing it in a few different places, and then um, Iggy also talked about this book in like her indie bookstore picks um, video, which is great, like full of amazing, amazing recommendations. So I'll link that video also downstairs. <laughs> Number nine is last book you recommend to someone, you recommend it to someone. Um, I think Blueberries by Elena Savage. I'm jumping on the train with Rebecca to like literally <laughs> Like, blueberries propaganda, like, get everybody to read this book. So, um, yeah, I'm recommending that, like, every other day, I feel like. Number 10, oldest book you've read by publication date. Girl. I didn't finish this book, actually, but, um, eventually. But it's, uh, The Kreutzer Sonata by Leo Tolstoy. Um, it was, the publication date is 1889. Um, yeah. It's like this kind of strange book that like takes place on a train, but the character that like was sort of the focus of it was just like so unlikable. And he was just ranting and ranting and ranting and ranting on the train. And I was like, at a certain point, I, I couldn't listen to him anymore, but that would be the oldest probably publication date book that I ever picked up and started reading. Number 11, newest book you've read by publication date. Um, probably the one I'm reading right now, which is Second Place by Rachel Cusk. Um, it's not out yet. Uh, the expected publication date is May 4th, 2021. So that would be the newest. Number 12, favorite author. I would say uh, Patti Smith, again, probably. Patti Smith. Um, I mean, I feel like I read so many great authors. Like, I love Rachel Cusk. I'm, like, watching her, reading her right now and loved Outline. Um, so she's another, like, new voice to me that I, I really love. Elena Savage, that wrote Blueberries. I think she's incredibly brilliant also. But, like, favorite author to this day would be Patti Smith. 13. Buying books or borrowing books? Actually, I would love to borrow books. Um... I don't have a library near me. Um, well, there is a library, but I'm living abroad, so most of that library is going to be full of, like, um, Hebrew books that, like, I can't read. Not, at least not yet. <laughs> so, yeah, like, buying books is the reality of life for me. But I love the idea of borrowing books. I love the idea of people passing books on. Number 14, a book you dislike that everyone seems to love. That's the thing, I rarely find myself reading books that I, like, really dislike. I'm gonna get so much hate for this. Everyone... Well, not everyone, but many, many, many people that I know love Sally Rooney, um, specifically normal people. And to be completely honest with you, nothing interests me about reading that book. Like, nothing. Maybe it, that's more an answer to a question, like, what's a book that everybody loves that, like, you won't pick up? Like... And maybe I would be also, I just, for some reason, maybe it's like the hype or something or just like, I don't really read romance, even though I know that it's more literary fiction. It's not like a straight up romance, but yeah, just, I don't know. It doesn't draw me. It doesn't pull me in. 15, bookmarks or dog ears? 
Um, I love that everyone finds this question so disturbing. In bookmarks, yeah. Like, I'm reading digitally, so my Kindle kind of like holds my place for me. <laughs> so I don't have to do anything. I do dog ear a lot of things, but not to keep my place in the book, like to mark things that are important to me or that I really loved. Number 16, a book that you can always reread. Again, I'm gonna say Patti Smith. I think Year of the Monkey, I will reread many times. I would say any kind of like, also I have one here. This is um, Joan Didion's South and West. I love this book. Also, how gorgeous is that? This is a hardcover and I actually really love it because of the size. It's like smaller than an average book. Is it? No. What am I saying? Okay, a little bit. I don't know. It feels small to me. <laughs> um, but this is sort of like a travel journal. I would say like a literary travel journal is sort of what this is. So I would definitely like reread that for sure. Number 17, can you read while listening to music? No. I love, like Iggy was saying also, she's like, give me some lo-fi beats in the back, maybe with some rain sounds. I can, I can get into like the environmental sounds, I think. But still, I like lo-fi beats absolutely couldn't work for me. Like, I don't know, I need silence um, or not silence, like I just, I don't care if I hear sounds from life, um, but I have a hard time reading next to someone having a conversation. Like I try to read at work sometimes, but there's like a lot of people talking um, and it's hard. And yeah, music, I just have never been able to do that. 18, one point of view or multiple? Um, I would say doesn't matter. I think multiple I've enjoyed and also one I've enjoyed. That person needs to, or that voice, like you need to connect to it or I need to not get bored by it. Um, if you're with one person the whole book, then I think it needs to be captivating. Um, but yeah, either one. Number 19, do you read a book in one sitting or over multiple days? Um, I've done both. Mostly I'm a multiple days kind of reader just by, because of the situation of my life and like um, how much time I have to read and like I definitely find myself not having the time to sit down and finish a book in one sitting. However, it has happened before. Um, essay collections, a lot of the times I will work my way through in one sitting if it's short. A short book I will um, sometimes read in one sitting and I like to do that. I really like to do that. A um, few times that I've been able to like really get sucked in and just like read it all in one thing, it's been amazing. But I just feel like I don't have that opportunity very often. Number 20, who do you tag? I feel like I don't know who's done this video. Um, cause I'm fairly new to booktube, like new to booktube and the booktubers, also other booktubers I watch like are not so new. So I feel like maybe in their archives they've done this, but, um, I mean, I will think of some people and put them in the description bar, um, and I'll let them know. <laughs> I'll ask around and see if people haven't done it. But if you're watching this and you haven't done it, I tag you. Um, answer these 20 questions for us and let's get to know you a little bit. Thank you so much for watching. Um, that was fun. Um, so I'll go edit this now and try to upload it. I hope you're having a very nice day and I'll see you later. Bye.